Hello, I am the Ronin Pawn, and this is the Ronin Pawn's monthly free-ish game Patreon giveaway thing-ish that we do every month, where I load you all into RimWorld, all you kind and generous Patreon contributors, and then slowly but surely kill you off until one remains and give that remaining human being a uh, game. Now, Patreon had some problems this month, okay, and I don't know if you guys got the emails, but I certainly did, saying, we screwed up, lots of you were declined uh, for payment when there was no reason for that to happen, and we're very sorry, it'll never happen again, and don't worry, we're gonna take care of everything. Uh, they have taken care of everything such that there are still a couple of you in this group that have not been charged for the month. So, uh, you know, that's that's on Patreon, but what's on me is do I throw you in even though and then the other thing? And the answer is yes! You're in here, people! Um, and also, please check your billing information with Patreon and maybe resubmit it for no reason just to try and get their systems to, to you know... I need your money! Give me your money! Starting from top to bottom, our contestants today are BLSP Black Death, Rex Skates, Kenneth, uh, we've got Ronan Pawn as a doo-doo head, Ben Jabin, Tommy Eklund, Carlos Pereira Espinosa, Ardillo13, Shadow528, J.A. Duffman, uh, Jesus, you're all walking around. Stop it, I can't keep track. Captain Course, Johnny Wolf, C.W. Kunkel, who is just chilling out there. He can't be bothered to even walk around. Peter Taylor, uh, J J Jonathan Dawson, uh, Tommy Eklund, and Alamon, who is also sort of a loner there, standing under a tree. Did I get everybody? Now, I don't know how smart you guys are, but I have given you, um, access to things like the weapons, and the, if you pick them up on your own, then that's, that's good. You know, you can do whatever you want with all this, this little bits and bobs and ends and odds. See, there's weapons and there's health, you know, med kits and stuff. I can't help you, though. That would be against the rules that I'm, I'm making up in my head as we go. What wouldn't be against the rules, however, would be for me to send insane animals at you. So let's do that for a bit. Let's see how that works. What kind of animal did we get? A local wild boar has gone mad. It will attack everyone it sees. Well, this should be entertaining. Found him! Found him! Here he comes! Wild boar! Male wild boar! Broken manhunter! Melee attacking! Alomon! Uh-oh! Alomon! Alomon! I hope you picked up one of those knives or guns or med kits or something that I allowed you to have access to. Where are you hanging out, Alomon? Hmm? Where's he? He's gonna come and get you. Oh, he likes your hairdo is the thing. You've both got sort of similar hairdos. Alomon, turn and fight! Yes! Turn and fight! Get him down! Punch him! Take him! It's just one wild boar that's attacking you. Alomon, they, you know, got the drop on you and hit you in the spine a few times before you- You can do this! You can take him down! Just a single wild boar, Alamon! You've got it, surely, just headbutt him! You know, those spikes, it looks like you've put enough styling gel in your hair to, you know, kill several wild boar- Oh, Alamon! You've gone down and the boar is still insane, and it has set its sights on Ardillo13! Ardillo Ryan, quickly! Um, wow, you've got a really nice hairdo, I like that quaff. Ryan is the victor over the boar! Alamon, I'm sorry, you were the first to fall. Um, this is gonna be- this isn't very expedient, throwing wild boar at you guys. I'm gonna need something a little more... nuclear. Let's start with some bombs, okay? Just a couple of bombs. Um, see if that- does that set anything on fire, or... I don't want to just drop bombs on you, that would be rude, but no, that's not doing anything. Okay, I- I don't know what I clicked there, but, um, it resulted in a... in a field full of fire, and... no more colonists. N none at all. Okay, may have gone a little bit overkill with the old, uh, nuclear attack there. I had to reload, so, um, just to make things the way they were before. Sorry about that, Alamon. Have a- have a lovely day. Just found an interesting new tool here in RimWorld, a uh, Force Birthday. So, it's your birthday, everybody! It's your birthday! It's- it's your birth- it's your birth- it's it. Why- why can't I do? Why- why not with the doing? Huh? How do I- Come on, have birthdays! Everybody have birthdays! Why are you eating the grass? Don't eat the grass! It's your birthday! We're giving you cake! Oh. Oh, you're not eating grass, you're sort of vomiting. You had too much cake! Oh, well, here's the issue. Captain Course has reached the biological age of 54! Congratulations, Captain Course! However, you've gained the following diseases due to aging. Frail. Frail is now... Frailty. It's a new disease. It's all the rage with the 54-year-olds. Sorry, Captain Course. I thought that would be a happy thing. I thought we'd make a cake. Apparently we, uh, we ruined the calcium density of your bones. My bad. Look out, everybody. I've found the damage apparel tool. I'm gonna damage your apparel. Come here. I'm gonna ruin your clothing. What? What is this? What does this do? I'm dead. Oh, are you naked now? Are you naked? Is, is that, like, 
destroying your clothing or are you just taking them off? Yeah, yeah, you're damaged. You're Yes, I'm making everyone naked. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Naked and Afraid. 17 Patreon contributors have been dropped off on an island and must survive. Well, oh, having, uh, what is it? We're being raided? I didn't even start that raid. Don't, don't raid them yet. She, no, is she naked? You may be naked. I think everyone's naked. Who's not naked yet? Johnny Wolf, take off those pants. We've got a raid incoming. John Dawson, you and your, your sexiness. Captain Course, your modesty is not going to save you from the next raid. Okay, we're all naked and alone in the wilderness, but we're naked together. Okay, when the raid comes, the best thing to do is everybody huddle together and then just sort of like rub a little bit and um, like maybe breathe hot air into each other's ears. Come on, come on, naked and afraid. Let's do it. Let's do it. I've been waiting for that episode. Captain Course, you're nakedly stumbling through the middle of the fire. That was a foolish idea. Oh, you went to get food. Okay. Well, you're definitely going to have whatever it is that you're eating is going to be cooked. Wow, you survived that? You didn't even catch on fire? You're a little bit stressed. Okay, well, at least, you know, it's... You're all dying slo slowly. Slowly with the stress. We got our first raid by Spider, who's wearing a cowboy hat and has a knife, and he's completely alone. And now it's raining, which is going to destroy my fire, my beautiful fire that was going to kill everyone. Uh-oh, everybody look out. Here comes Spider. He's got a knife. He also looks rather frail and weak, and he's probably, you know, terrified by the fact that you're all naked. Where are you going, Spider? What are you doing? Oh, you're going to attack J.A. Duffman. Well, J.A. Duffman, I think you can take him down. He's, he's skinny. He's skinny and frail. Take him down. You don't have any weapons. He has one. You're naked. He's clothed. You know, there are some things against you, J.A. Duffman. I'll, I'll be honest with you. But I think you can do this. Reach out and just just snap his neck. You know, one hit. One, one kill. One shot, one kill. J.A. Duffman. My god, you can take a pounding, can't you? I mean, he's been stabbing you. J.A. Duffman, you came out on that? You came out on that and Spider is down? He had a knife. He really was a frail bloke, wasn't he? We're going to need more raiders. A lot more raiders. Yeah, here we go. Here's an incoming raid, and it seems to have fallen right on top of you. What is this? Are people just sending you pillows now? What, what is that? It's a drop pod. Why aren't they coming out of the drop pod? Oh, they have. Oh, hello, everybody. That was an instant raid. Okay, things have gotten exciting. Kenneth is going down. Oh, Jesus, everyone's just got knives. Nobody's shooting at all. But my god, so many of you have fallen. Ronan Pawn is a doo-doo head is on the ground and dying. Kenneth is on the ground and dying. And you guys are just walking away. The red frogs, you just... They had very specific targets, apparently. Oh, John Dawson. Yeah, take revenge. Take revenge for your fallen comrades. Jo Johnny Dawson is, is... He's... He's okay. He's given up, too. Wow. Wow. There's a 3,000 point raid that fell right on top of your head and, and then they just, they just... Kenneth, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Kenneth has given more money to me over Patreon than everybody and I just get him killed instantly. Kenneth, I'm really sorry. I don't have any control over these things, but um, your dead body is kind of freaking out Ben Jabin over here, so... Uh... I'm really sorry, Kenneth. I do love you. Everything you do for, for the channel is great. You too, Ronan Pawn is a doo-doo head. Sorry about that. And Tommy Eklund may have gotten caught in the crossfire, okay? Really, really not my intention at all. You're a little bit on fire there, Tom. Tom? Tom, get up. Get, we don't have any alarms here, buddy. You just need to get up. Smell that? That is your hair. You're just gonna... Sm okay, just sleep it out. Sleep it out. Yeah, you're just keeping warm through the rainy night, I guess. Good morning, everyone. Did we all sleep well? It's time to get up. Time to get up. Come on, lazy heads. Roll out of bed. Come on, the alarm's been buzzing for five minutes. You keep hitting snooze. Time to get up. Time to... I'll get you up. I will get you up. Raid, 3,000 points. On your face. Ah, oh, they didn't fall right on top of you this time. Okay, where are you? What are you doing? Because we need to just... Just wake them up, okay? I don't want you to hurt them. Don't hurt them. You know, most of these guys, they just... They sleep really hard, okay? And they, they, they're out all night doing things. So I just need you to just... Yeah, just get in there and let them know. Holy crap! Okay, Johnny Wolf and um, John Dawson. Oh my god, all the Johns are dying immediately. Okay, here comes a mole. Here comes a mole. What are you guys doing, huh? Are you just walking through? You just, hi, how you doing? We uh, just killed two of your friends. Um, and apparently we're satisfied and we're leaving now. You guys suck. These raiders are absolutely horrible. Okay, I've got this on extreme difficulty. Oh my god, it's the doctor. The doctor is here. Somebody kill him. I want him to regenerate. I don't like this actor. Oh my god, Ardillo! Ardillo, did you hear me? You took a, a pot shot at the doctor. Good. Good. Everybody gang up on him. Tommy Eklund. Yeah! Yeah, beat the doctor in the face! There you go. The doctor does seem to have a heavy weapon in his hand. Doesn't seem to be actually using it on you. 
Um, not sure what that's about. Maybe that's just his arm. Is that just your arm? You've got a, you know, mechanical arm that's been made into a gun. Who's gonna win this fight, you know? The Doctor or Tommy Eklund? Because I don't see any weeping angels here. Ben Jabin, you know, stand very still and maybe, maybe you'll be the one. Come on, kill the Doctor. Kill him, Tommy. Yes, Tommy's got the upper hand. Tommy has killed the Doctor and outright, too. The Doctor, the villain, is dead like dead like dead. Who still remains here? J.A. Duffman, Peter Taylor. Jesus, J.A. Duffman? J.A. Duffman, I thought you went down. I thought you went down hard. Wow, you went down hard, but you got back up. Okay, um, Shadow528, White Wolf, NZ, Ben Jabin, we've got uh, CW Kunkel and Pereira. Uh, Carlos Pereira Espinosa, you're all alive. Ardillo13 has taken a nap out by himself, apparently. Man, it's really hard to kill everybody. Um, hmm. It's such a difficult job being the overlord who has to murder all of you every time. I mean, I've, I've been at this for a half an hour at least, and it, it takes a lot. I'm going to throw another rage your way. Simultaneously, I think we could have maybe some, um, let's see, some more animal insanity. Animal insanity is always fun. Maybe we can get some boom rats over here to explode in your face. Animal insanity for the win. Raids incoming. Where are you guys? Oh, it's a big old raid full of people who aren't going to do a damn thing. Oh, and you're, <laughs> you're being, but the wild boars are coming after the raiders. Okay, so, yeah. Yep, the wild boars are killing the raiders now. I'm telling you, it's incredibly difficult. I'm trying to kill you, I really am. I'm just bad at everything I lay my hands on, is what it looks like here. Oh, hello! Hello! White Wolf NZ is going down to a pack of rabid squirrels! <laughs> We've got a pack of rabid squirrels that are, that are just running the countryside. They're doing more work for us than the raiders have ever done. What are you guys doing now? Oh god, now the pack of angry squirrels are attacking the raiders. This is not productive. This is doing the opposite. You're, the evil things that I'm sending out to kill everyone are taking out each other. That's not right. Okay, angry squirrels, you are the most effective thing that I've had in the whole free pawn giveaway monthly Patreon-ish thing ever. What did you just drop? A fine meal? You were carrying a fine meal in your pockets? Are you kidding me? Are any of the squirrels going after, you know, any of you? Tommy Eklund, you're downed. You are downed. Who's not downed? Who's just sleeping? I have a feeling that you're all just playing dead. You're downed. You're downed. You're downed. You're downed. Wow. Did the squirrels do that much damage while I wasn't looking? I think they might have. I think they might have. You know what? Some of you are going to get back up from this. I'm sure some of you are going to get back up from this, and then we can kill you outright. Oh, no. We've got lots of infections coming in. Yes, J.A. Duffman, I'm sorry, but your wound has just been open for too long. Um, come on. Somebody's got to get back up. We've got to have a winner here. Whoever stands up first is going to be the winner, okay? I know you're not... None of you are actually technically dead, but, um... You know, you're all gonna die from your horrible infectious diseases that are crawling over your faces. Just one person needs to get- oh god, who's that? Who's that? J.A. Duffman. Yes, your infection overtook you. You're dead. Come on, one person. On your feet. On your feet, everybody. I know you can do this. I've seen you do it before. I thought you were dead and then you got back up. White Wolf Enzy, you've got an awful lot of health to be just sitting around there. Come on. Somebody. Anybody. One of ya. One of you has to win. You can't all go down while I'm not looking. Oh my god, look at all the frickin' infections. Somebody make us some penicillin, quickly. Look at all the infections coming in. They're overrunning the camp, and no one is standing up. No one is still alive. And I missed it. I missed it. Okay, well I guess then that means... That means... No one wins the free Patreon game giveaway this month. Cause, you know, you all died when I wasn't looking. And that's not fair, you're not supposed to do that. Hang on, maybe there's a history log of who died last. Yeah, there's no history log of who died in what order, so, um, I guess I'm just gonna wait for you all to, you know, fall due to your infections, and whoever, um, uh, this is weird. Oh look, we've got a visitor! A weaver from Ovalgaliera is visiting the colony, his name is Biko somebody and so forth. Well, um, uh, sorry that we didn't make you any, um, you know, cake or anything. If, if we knew you were coming, we'd have baked a cake, but we're a little bit dying due to massive infection. Black, Black Death. Yeah, it's the plague. You may not want to hang out here. I mean, I know, you're, you're being friendly, you're visiting and all that sort of thing, but Ben Jabin has died because of blood loss. Our Dillo 13 has died because of blood loss. Okay, we're getting down to it. Oh my god, a bunch of people just died. A bunch of people just died. Shadow 528, White Wolf Lindsay, and Carlos Pereira Espinosa, along with Rex Skates, have all died of blood loss. Who's left? 
Is it just C.W. Kunkel? C.W. Kunkel? Oh my god, and you took out one of those rabid squirrels when you left. No, it's down to... It's down to C.W. Kunkel and Tommy Eklund. Am I right? Am I right? It's what it looks. That's what it looks. Okay. C.W. Kunkel, Tommy Eklund, which one of you is going to succumb to your wounds first? C.W. Kunkel has died, and Tommy Eklund, you are the winner! You have won! Yay! Congratulations! You're just resting! You're actually healing! Oh my god, Tommy Eklund, are, are you not diseased? Do you not have an infection like everyone else did? Tommy Eklund, survival of the fittest! Oh my god, you have the best DNA! We need to mate you, but everyone else is, um... Yeah, all the women died, and all the men and most of the squirrels. Tommy Eklund, get better! Get better quick! I want to see you stand up, man! You are healing, you are sleeping, you're just resting! He's not even down anymore, he's just sleeping and he's resting, and he's recovering his health. Tommy! Tommy, get up, Tommy! To oh god, there's more mad animals. Tommy, don't get up! Don't get up! The, the animals are coming for you, Tommy Eklund! The, the animals are gonna come and eat your face! Uh, like, more so, because there's already, there's already a little bit of, you know, face death there. Is this the one? Is he waiting for you to get up? No, that's a female squirrel. She's just wandering. She's not the one. Get up, Tommy. You're you're a pinball wizard. It's got to be the twist. The, the pinball wizard's got such a supple wrist. I don't know if those are the lyrics at all. Come on, Tommy. Stand up for us. Stand up. I know you haven't had a meal in several thousand days, but look at you. You're healing. I'm looking at these little healy bars. Maybe the fact that you don't have any food in your belly it means that the healing is just sort of out. Yeah, it's kind of weighing each other out. Tommy Eklund, you have won due to your ability to survive infection, and you must repopulate the Earth yourself. Um, single cell division, okay? That's how they did it, you know, when we first got started. That's how we, that's how we worked it. So you're gonna have to, you know, backtrack a little bit. Thanks to your incredible resistance to infection, Tommy Eklund, you will be rewarded with, um, this person, Kamiko, Kumiko. Oh my god. Oh, he likes you, Kumiko. He likes you. Maybe you two can repopulate the world together, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I mean, he chose a bed to play. Yeah, he's just, he's, he's sleeping, he's getting, he's getting closer to you every time. He's getting a little bit closer. He's gonna, be, watch this, he's gonna move over right next to you in just a minute. Kumiko, yeah, Kumiko likes you, Tommy. Look, Kumiko likes you. Can't be bothered to, you know, stitch you up and bring you some food or anything like that, but certainly, certainly likes you. Also, I'm kind of wondering if you're not immortal, Tommy Eklund. You appear to be immortal. You're lying on the ground, just sleeping the days away, and you're never gonna die. Tyler, T Tynan Sylvester, games developer, I have found a bug. Tommy Eklund cannot be killed. However, he has received a free game, and that game, Tommy Eklund, is... something. I don't know. Okay, Pawn, just pretend like you were prepared and didn't just click out of the window in order to see what game you were gonna give him. You will be receiving Prison Architects, a game which I'm currently running a series of here on the Rodin Poland channel, and yes, I will be making more, and just thank you very much for giving me the time and not harassing me in the comments section every day about where's more Prison Architect? We need more Prison Architect! Because you're not, and I really do appreciate that. And Tommy, I really think you've made a soulmate with Kumiko here. I mean, you haven't said so much as a word to him, her, it, and she's just like, wow, she won't go away. She loves you, man or he, or that I don't know what you're into, Tommy, but you're naked, and you're bleeding out on the ground, and that is not how we end these things. You need to die like everyone else did today. There's no, there's no getting away from it. So, Tom, good job, good work, congratulations. Say hello to your maker for me. Goodbye, Tommy. Goodbye. So that's what Tommy looks like in vapor form. You know, it's only, it's only kind of me to get rid of Kumiko. I mean, when, when he or she or it wakes up and finds out that Tommy's not here anymore, yeah, I'm just gonna save you the, uh, save you the heartbreak. And trust me, I know a thing about heartbreak. I am the Ronin Pawn! I will see you next time. Pawn out! <sighs> Those are the words I like to see. Those are the words I like to see. <laughs> uh. Incidentally, if you would like to join this group of um, cadavers next month, uh, one single dollar contribution at patreon.com slash ronanporn gets you entered into the free monthly-ish game giveaway, whatever it is I'm calling it, and um, I really, the channel is supported by this. The only way that I can do this is through your donations, so without hammering it over the head, give me your money. Give me all of your money. All of it. Need every penny. Leave nothing for anyone else.
children in Ethiopia? Ronan Point, right over here, okay? I mean, I know we've all got bills, but uh, mine are more important than yours, okay? Just let that let that note on the on the house just slip this month, and you know, throw the Ronan Point some love. He'll throw it back to you in the form of lightning bolts and raiders and mad squirrels. Are we done here, Morty? Is that good? Yeah. Pull out. Never knows which way goes down. When you get back once to the shore, are you ready?